of the day was when I was on the carnivore diet. We're going to get straight into this reaction, man. We got Joe Rogan going carnivore. Dream diet, really. But the thing is, I feel great. Energy levels like this. Straight. There's no That's fluctuations. Dude, because there's, the carbs, insulin. There's no carbs. I had a belly. Oh, a lot of people made fun of it. That's a big difference right there, Joe. Let me go ahead and change this view for you guys. Let me switch some shit up real quick. Okay. So we're going to go here. And then let me just swap this right here for you guys. Bang. We should be all set. Okay. So as you can see, <clears throat> before Joe went carnivore, right? Like he said, he, like he's stating, he had a gut. And um, obviously, he looks tremendous after, right? You can see some abs pop in. This is kind of not bulged out anymore. It kind of sunk back in. So um, <clears throat> you can definitely see the chest fat is increased. I mean, decreased by a lot. And you could also see his traps a lot more. And then you can't really see the face here, but the face does look not as puffy. Fat shamed me. I also have an autoimmune disorder. It's called vitiligo. And my vitiligo improved. I had a bunch of white spots fill in. So. The sugar industry paid scientists to lie about the source of heart disease and connected it to saturated fats. Mm -hmm. Then we can publish data and refute our detractors. Someone got oh. paid fifty thousand dollars to destroy America. Literally kill people. <laughs> yeah. Literally kill people. All right, we're good there. So I'm eleven days in. I started a couple of days before, and I've been eating nothing but meat: bacon, steak, elk meat. It's my favorite meat. A lot of extra fat if I eat the elk meat. I eat How's that cholesterol? <laughs> I don't the cholesterol is not as bad as what people think. When you're going on carnivore, you're kind of eliminating pretty much everything. And, and essentially not everything, but carnivore is what you ever heard of. Uh, have you guys ever heard of the uh, elimination diet? So that's kind of what carnivore is. You're pretty much eliminating everything out of your diet, all the processed shit, the oils, carbohydrates, um, a lot of shit, the sugars, everything. So, you know, there, there's, you know, the the cholesterol thing. People are like, oh, don't eat too much red meat. The cholesterol, the cholesterol actually drops. Um, you know, tailor it, especially if you're working out, you're training, you're drinking a lot of water, you you know, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, stuff like that. You know, your cholesterol is not, you know, it's going to naturally drop when you lose weight. Right now, I got my blood work done uh, last Monday. I'll get the results back soon, and then I'm going to do it again at the end of the month. But I've already lost seven pounds. You feel good? Dude, I, I feel slim. You look good. When he came in, I was like, yeah, he's looking tight. You look looking tight. I lost my belly. I had a gut. I get in my face, too. Can you wash your face every day? So you get in there, and you're like, oh, this is like less face. <laughs> Also, a fat face is a bummer. It's a bummer. I'll, I'll tell you. One thing, man, I'm going to tell you, you do drop the weight pretty fast without even noticing. I mean, you'll you'll feel it <clears throat> the best. But also, one thing I like about it is you won't just feel like you lost weight. You'll feel like your muscle structure, especially if you're getting some workouts in, you're going to feel like your muscle structure is just a lot more full and dense and raw. You'll feel that. Trust me. First, diarrhea is rough. He talks about diarrhea. He's actually told me that actually his diarrhea has gotten significantly better. He's back to having solid bowel movements as of a couple of days ago. So that's good news for him. It's like I, I, can, I can say that. It's not more so a diarrhea thing. It's more so you're going to process the meat and exit the bullshit. I mean, that's pretty much what it is. Your body can only process so much stuff. You know, and we're mixing in all those other stuff, the processed foods, the oils, the sugars, the this, the that's going to get mixed up in the in the sauce. And that's when you have big chunky shits. You know, your poop is going to be huge and nasty and it's going to hurt instead of having a, a solid flow of poop from just pretty much protein, you know. So that's what I've noticed. And you process, I process my food a lot faster. What if you're what if you're starving? You're far from home, and there's a burger king, and that's it. The I'll just order some meat patties, whoppers, and then I'll take the meat out of them, and I'll just eat. Yeah, man, eat some bacon. bacon. Yeah, I'm gonna do it for the whole month. I want to see what's up, because I, I know a lot of people that I respect that have tried, like Jordan Peterson in particular. That guy's a genius, and when he's telling mm. me what a mass that's true. This is one of the big guys right here who who literally will tell you, I just eat steak. The impact it's had on him cognitively. He said intellectually, he's at his prime. He said all of his autoimmune issues went away, and vitiligo is an autoimmune issue. So I'm see, I don't have this, but I can admit to the other things that he's admitting to. So I don't have this, but. Your energy is going to go through the roof. You're going to get a lot more done. 
you, you, everything's just so much sharper. Your attitude, everything, your sleep, everything. That but, that, that work. but I have heard a lot of diseases. And I have, I've had, I have heard a lot of people who have reversed a lot of stuff, especially women. But with him, he was having gum issues, receding gums. That went away. So instead of your diet breaking down a bunch of different things, it's just breaking down one thing. And this one thing that human beings have been eating since the beginning of time. Like this idea that human beings are herbivores is pretty much nonsense. One of the main reasons why we became what we are is because we started eating meat. We started getting better access to protein from cooking it because we figured out how to harness fire. And then from hunting, we started getting more devious and started, you know, thinking and having better critical skills. Yep. In yep. like this. Uh, Native Americans and Comanches ate like that. <coughs> this is very true. Before I went on this diet, I, I had gotten off the rails a little bit. Too many carbs. Too, much Too many carbs, bro. That's the killer right there. Sugar and carbs. For the month. Just it's so day. addicting. So far, this is the most amazing thing. Energy levels like this. Straight. straight, straight line. No crashes. One thing I notice about food when I have heavy meals, bro, it doesn't matter what time of the day, I'll crash. I'll be like, ah, oh, I'm done. Bro, eating meat, I'm just eating real quick. Half the time, bro, you won't even notice, bro. I'm so, so food is not even like a, enjoy, it, I enjoy it, don't get me wrong, but it's, I look at it, and I, okay, I'm getting my protein, I'll stand and eat it real quick, and I'm back to work. I'm back to what I got to do. There's no That's fluctuations. Dude, because there's, the carbs, insulin. There's no carbs. Before, yeah, your, your sure. insulin was spiking <laughs> days like this. That's the key right there, your insulin spikes. In the moment. The and drops when you're eating carbs. Like five minutes. Think of it this way. How often would you get laid if every time you got laid, you gained 20 pounds? <laughs> this is obviously the Goldilocks period. It's a honeymoon, right? I just started. And you're I into it. I don't know. I deviated over this weekend. You I did? went to yeah, I went to Disneyland and uh, I had ice cream oh and, then, and then Saturday night I had pasta, all mm, kinds. Mm, I had mm. Girl Scout cookies. I, I know that shit was hidden. And dude, I'm telling For you, Shorsky. Sunday, my back was hurting. That's another thing. Bro, that's another thing. When I eat carbs, especially when I get off carnivore, my back and you'll just be sore. But bro, literally when I'm on carnivore straight meat, like at least ninety seven percent. I feel great. No pain, nothing. It was hurting. Everything was like my knee. That's was true. Oh, oh, the inflammation. Inflammation. Fuck. So I ate carnivore Monday and Tuesday. Everything's normal again. No, really? No more, no more aches and pains. So you were full on meat for, for a whole month. A whole yeah. month. And just a small meal around noon after mm -hmm. I work out. Oh. Mm. And then dinner. No eggs? No. Yeah, I would eat eggs. Eggs and fish. Just no no vegetables at all. No, no vegetables fruits. All. No, no red, of course. Why did you decide <coughs> to do it in the first place? January is World Carnivore Month, and I oh shit, I didn't even know that. Done it mm -hmm. that have had some serious results. Uh, serious results with autoimmune <coughs> issues too. And I, I have vitiligo, which is an autoimmune disease. It causes you to have hmm. little patches where you don't have pigment. Oh really? And this month I have the best results that I've ever had with vitiligo. Like I've had all these spots fill in, and like pretty rapid rate people with Jeez. eczema have had spectacular results with it for most people the getting the nutrients or getting the vitamins junk. Yeah. pasta glorious bread some people when they eat certain plants they they have reactions like what kind of reaction you know they have like an autoimmune reaction oh okay like some people that are on like high vegetable high oxalate so diet. i had a buddy um i still you know he's still here but uh just recently, he got fucked up, man, from being straight, pretty much vegan, um, eating a bunch of lettuce and, and, and vegetables, and that shit tore his lining or something up, and now he's on medication and shit, bro, that shit, she looks weird, um, but yeah, I'm not here to bash anybody, I'm just, I'm just saying. High as high, you know, like mm -hmm. leafy greens and stuff like that, some people have reactions to yeah. it. How long did you do the carnivore diet? Um, I generally only do it for a month. In January. January is World Carnivore Month. A couple times I've eaten <coughs> nothing but meat. Uh, like one. Do you get the meat sweats? Is that a real no, Nah. Explosive diarrhea, <laughs> though. There ain't no meat sweat. Here's the thing. It's like when you. Yeah, when people say you get meat sweats, that's. that's. I mean, for me at least. I don't get no damn meat sweats, bro. So I'm just saying. You know, um, I, I do also work out every day. I sweat, drink a lot of water, but I don't get the meat sweats. Cut out all the carbs. <sighs> like bread and pasta, which is really, for me, the culprit. Yeah. I avoided all the crash, and I never felt sleepy. Like, my energy That's level was completely sustained all throughout the day. Okay. All I was eating was, like, ribeyes and Jeez. elk meat. Elk yep. meat yep. sounds good. It's great. Elk, it's just 
Spectacular. See, I don't get elk like that, but I do eat the little elk elk sticks. You know, maybe like 18 grams of protein. Hopefully, it's real elk, but yeah. You can't just eat elk meat. You need fat. Yeah. And elk is very lean. Elk okay. is, you know, you're basically eating a super athlete. I think I heard a bunch of right things like this. Yeah. You're eating a super athlete that's running away from mountain lions. Yeah. Like they're, they're fucking jacked. Like when you're in the field, you True. Know, you're numb, you'd see very little fat. Right. Very, very little. Mostly what you're seeing is muscle tissue and mm. dense, rich, dark red mm. muscle tissue. <laughs> very true. So when we look at animals, that's very true. We look at the lean and we look at, you know, with the more husky on them and, and fat to them. I didn't, I never even looked at meat like that. That's, that's very true. That's very interesting. Um, the very interesting. Now, what I would say is this. When you're on the carnivore diet, you don't want to eat too lean. You want some fat. You want the 80-20s. You want the 85-15 meats, um, especially the ground beef and stuff. Or you want to add in some fats into the diet. Another thing you want to do is make sure you have a good sodium intake or salt intake. and Because um, you're not going to be getting a bunch of that stuff from all the processed foods and stuff. So you definitely want to get a lot of that stuff. And you will need it, especially if you're training hard. So I suggest you either do some salt water or salt in your pre-workout before training and um, that should pretty much help with if you have any cramps or you feel like uh get you some electro because you're not going to have too much electrolyte stuff like that so you're going to want to replenish with like some salt water so rich in protein get you a pd light right. and vitamins and so fucking healthy for you but you need fat so i would use grass-fed beef tallow so I would cook it in that's one thing that you, you know i definitely want to get my hands on is some tallow i use ghee for the most part and like butter but you really really simple ingredient butter or i just use ghee or get some fats from that mm -hmm. but i found that like i started eating a lot of bacon with it and that helped too so when i'm eating um this sounds really bad for your heart no 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 she's tripping yeah that's a mess definitely a mess like build up no 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 when no. you're all the studies that point to meat being bad for your heart are what's called epidemiology studies and mm. those studies is where they make people fill out like a questionnaire like how many times a week do you eat meat? Right. Like five days a week. And they, they looked at those people and they said, oh, there's Pay attention. instances of heart disease in those people. But what they don't cover is how many of those fucking people are eating cheeseburgers? <coughs> and how many of those people have industrial seed oils in the mm -hmm. cheeseburger? The Talk to them. Talk to them. In industrial seed exactly. Oils. How many of them are drinking Coca-Cola all Cartons day long, which is filled with corn syrup? Like all that shit is what's really bad for you. Well, you know about the studies in, I think it was the 1950s and 1960s where the sugar industry paid scientists to This is very important right here. It's what a lot of people, this is why it's, it's so hard to have conversations with people unless you actually do the research. People who don't do the research, they're like fucking idiots, bro. Talking to them about some shit like this, they're like fucking idiots. And I'm sorry to be like this, but it's just the truth. The research is out there. You know, money controls the world, bro. I'm sorry, but if, if you got the money and you balling like that and you want to pay some off and you want to make it say this or that, you're going to be able to do it and they're going to accept it. Lie about the source of heart disease and connected to saturated fats. Mm -hmm. It was really just bribery. Yeah. They, and they didn't pay him much. They paid him like $50,000. <laughs> so people have this idea that meat Terrible. is bad for you. Well, but I meat is what people have been eating since the fucking beginning of time. Right. I, I remember reading that the whole idea that fat was bad for you is because of the sugar no. lobbies, and then they just replaced all of the fat with sugar, and then now we have an obesity <coughs> epidemic, 100%. essentially. So this is uh, 50 years ago. Sugar industry quietly paid scientists to point the blame at fat. Did anybody get punished for this? I think they're all dead. The next year, after several scientific articles were published suggesting a link between sucrose and coronary heart disease, the SR approved the literature review project that it wound up paying approximately fifty thousand dollars in today's dollars for the research <laughs> so they they literally paid these scientists that's crazy bullshit study because there was all sorts of scientific articles <coughs> suggesting a link between sugar and coronary heart disease oh my god they recommended i believe it industry fund its own studies which is well, then we can publish data and refute our detractors someone got oh. paid fifty thousand dollars to destroy america literally kill people <laughs> fifty thousand is crazy i ain't gonna lie that's oc uh, i did the carnivore diet for all of january that looks like a good piece of steak gained a ton of energy my energy levels were completely that's one thing my energy bro when i'm on carnivore bro you ain't telling me nothing my energy's through the roof flat the whole month through the roof from crashing after eating i had a belly oh, well, I'm gonna make fun of me fat shamed me i lost all my fat 
So Joe is leaning out. His energy level is fine. I lost all the belly. Yeah, looking lean and for sure. It was tremendously beneficial. And my vitiligo improved. Nice. The white spots fill in. So I went into this thing thinking this carnivore diet was wacky. And uh, I probably would think it's nonsense. But Looks way better. I felt a long time. And it's just one month. Most of what I'm eating is meat and eggs. Sure. That's what most meat and eggs. Is. That's what dreams Solid. Are, really. <laughs> but the thing is, I feel great. I'm very clear-headed, and I have a lot of energy. That's another thing. Brain fog. I want to talk to you guys about something. When I eat carnivore, I am clear-minded, and I get my shit done. There's no brain fog. Like, when you're eating carbs... Excuse me. When I'm eating carbs... My brain is just so like, oh, I got to do, oh, do I need to do this? Oh, second guess this. Oh, but I, no, bro. It's clear minded. I'm go, go, go. Energy's on point. I'm sharp. Get it done. Get it done. Get it done. There's no brain fog, no crashing. Every I do it, every January, I'm like, God, why don't I eat this way all the time? The problem Hard. is I'm a glutton and I really love pasta. And I really <laughs> love pizza, man. Yeah. Woo. He's a, he admitted it right there. He, he's a, I don't know what the fuck you said, glutton. Um, gluten guy or some shit, I don't know. But he likes pastas and shit. Yeah. It tastes great, but it's bread. definitely not my thing in terms of like what my body responds to the best. My body responds the best to meat and eggs and you know organ meats and fish. Yeah. And when yeah. I eat that stuff, my body's like, yeah, great, this is awesome. Like I can eat a steak and then go right on stage. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It'd be cool. But if I eat a bowl of spaghetti oh. and go on stage, oh, you're gonna feel like shit. Yeah. Eat a whole pizza and go on stage. <laughs> uh, I'm so dumb. You know, yeah. you just feel like, I'm going to go sit on the couch. Like, I'm not going to do anything. It makes a difference. And yeah. anybody who says it doesn't is in denial. You just really like bread and pasta. <laughs> Which is understandable. No, it does make a difference. I switched back to uh, the carnivore diet. You know, uh -huh. um, I go back and forth on that. And for the most part, I eat mostly meat. I had this moment two weeks ago mm -hmm. where I was like, you know what? The best I ever felt, like literally the best I ever felt all throughout the day was when I was on the carnivore diet. Mm. Let me go back to that. Let me see what that's like. And one of the things that I saw immediately, I, for seven, eight days, I ate nothing but meat and eggs and fat and bacon and nothing else. I mean, nothing, I was real strict. And my brain was working so much better. It was weird. Like, I wasn't searching for, like... It's facts. It was like I had more access. It's facts. To my ability to form sentences, to... Mm -hmm. I was thinking clearer. It was like, it was more effortless to have conversations. And I was like, mm -hmm. this is very interesting. Because this is not how I normally feel. This is like me at my optimum. But I'm able to sustain this multiple days in a row. And I mm. think that a lot of the foods that we eat, foods that have preservatives, a lot of bread and bullshit, and just shitty food, your body uses so much resources to process that, and it's not real food. It's kind of bad for you, right? And so your body is just, like, overburdened with this extra work. When you eat clean, like really I mean, mm -hmm. you know, wild game and fat and beef tallow and all that and eggs your body doesn't have any bullshit to process that's you true less inflammation you're operating off of ketones essentially because your, your body is that, that's that's true too i didn't get that deep into it as far as like the the knowledge part which it, it, it's just basic i mean you gotta think about the insulin you gotta think about the glyco glycogen and you, you gotta think about what your body's gonna run off of and stuff like that one thing i can say though is you, you will you might feel off the first two days while your your body's literally going to be trying to transition from operating off energy um, source which is carbs and then operating off pretty much protein and fat so pretty much fat so um you, you might feel a little different like for me when i'm on straight carnivore and then i'm eating a little bit of carbs for like three four days and then i try to go back or I go back on carnivore i'll feel it a little bit for the first day or two maybe not as much but I'll feel a little bit different. Like, okay, my body's trying to transition into boom, which I might be tired that day or the day after for a little bit. And I know once that it's running off the fat, boom, we it's go time. It's game time for Shorsky. For Shorsky. That's how I function now. Let's go. So that's how I eat now. You just feel even through the whole day. I never felt like a like at the end of the day, like, oh boy, I'm tired. It was none of that. I lost five pounds in two weeks and not anything but fat. Immediately my body's rolling. Oh, son. Oh, oh really? Son. Oh, hell yeah. This animal died. 
instantly. Yeah. I mean, we shot it right here. It died right here. It was a perfect shot, and uh, there was zero suffering. If this animal didn't die by us, it would have died by mountain lions or by coyotes or by winter or by starvation. But now it's going to feed me and my family and my friends and whoever comes over and uh, I think it's the most ethical way to do it. I don't think there's a more ethical way to do it on Earth. The animal lives its entire life completely wild. This deer didn't even know we were here. Boom, it's over. This is hard country. And these animals, they don't make it. No one makes it. There's no 100-year-old deer. They hit six or seven. All right, we're going to cut it right there. Hopefully, you guys got some value for this. It's just a little something from Joe and other people's perspectives. And I'm going to have more videos dropping about this stuff, but I definitely wanted to react to this stuff and I definitely wanted to see, you know, other people's input like Joe Rogan and other people um, that were in the video kind of speaking. It, I forgot the doctor's name, but uh, I think Dr. Barry, very good doctor. And, um, you know, we no, that's was that Barry or Sean? One of the two, but very good doctor. And, um, you know, like I said. I can tell you guys so much about this stuff, but sometimes it takes another person to say it for you guys to understand. You get where I'm going with this? So that's kind of what I got. I feel great when I'm on it. I'm going to try to spread the word to multiple people, and I've already put a lot of people on it. It's just, you know, now we're going to use a platform a little bit to kind of get the word out, which I think is important. You know, the carnivore lifestyle, carnivore diet is not a joke. I think it can help a lot of people. And it's not as bad as what people think. It's actually a good, positive thing. And I've seen nothing but pretty much positive results from it. And like I said, that's that's kind of the best I feel, you know, naturally. So I'll get back to you guys on the next one, man. Hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers here. Appreciate you guys, and I'm out.